What's up Doomers and welcome to another episode of Pistol Kit Plays Doom. Today we're continuing our random maps of Ramp, the community project. Let's uh, go find one that's uh, short and difficult. Oh, uh, yes, this is going to help us. Welcome to Hellha by Bobby 49 Oh, that's uh, a lovely hot start. So the rules... This is a blind playthrough and it's Iron Man. We play at Ultra Violence and we play a level until we beat it or until we die. And if we die, we're just gonna hop into the next one. Okay, well, I dealt with all your enemies. It's 120. 57 enemies in this one, so I'm not sure how uh, how short it's going to be. I also have no idea how to get out of the starting room. Well. New rule, if we get stuck, we try another map. Uh, this is Aztec by CBM. It's also supposed to be a short one and not too difficult. Which I've enabled your task with the investigation of this Aztec Pyramid Temple. Well, the environment is a bit flat, but the temple does look nice. This is clearly uh, made in GZ Doom, or made for GZ Doom. And I hope this music isn't copyrighted, because that's the theme to DuckTales. That's clever. Also like this little uh, key item here. That's the exit. So we're gonna be uh, go finding the yellow key. There's an armor here. Hello, that woke up the world. I should say that woke up all the revenants you can encounter in a single level. Well, someone's been playing too much Plutonia. And I took one straight to the face. Well, let's uh, eat some med kits and venture on. I do like these little triangle things. This is uh, clearly made by a proficient mapper. Of course, this is not the first map uh, I've played by CBM. In fact, I uh, collaborated with him on a community project called Angry Quills, where he made some nice cube and cute. Let's uh, lure out the revenants. CBM is also infamous for his uh, E4 M4 remake in the, the way we used to remember Doom. Not that the map was broken, but the map was uh, too detailed to the experience of many people. Okay, that's a weird door. We go where the enemies are. call this map overly detailed so far but uh, he is using a lot of I don't know if you want to call them tricks gimmicks I guess oh man yeah um Fighting a bunch of cacos and revenants in tight corridors with very small doors. Okay, what is this? This, uh, this room looks uh, pretty good. And there's the yellow key. That's weird. This is a reflective surface. Okay. Nice little detailing. There's a mega sphere down here. I'm 
this is weird. I like the way it's structured. I really dislike the way it's textured. But this, this metal texture alignments just took off. So. And this door is just weird. So. I don't know where am I supposed to go. But there's a plasma gun and another mega sphere sitting out here. Okay, well. Definitely put that to good use. So there's a. I don't know how this is a secret. Th this wall is kind of see through, but this one isn't, so. I don't know. Also, I just found the plasma gun. Oh, look, more doors with uh, plenty of heavy enemies behind them. the red key more swimming what's down here that's a mega armor well that we do not need nor do we need to move these uh, use these amplifying goggles okay so yeah let's uh So out of ammo. I guess we have a few bullets left. Oh, there's some more cells and shotgun shells here. Okay. Guess we have all three keys. Is that we have all kills? Okay. Guess it's the exit? Yep. Well, CBM, if you're watching, um, yeah, let, let me give you uh, a hint. You are obviously very proficient with Doom Builders. You have a lot of technical know-how, um, but you really also like to show off that you have those skills in whatever map you're making. And I think, what you really should be uh, be focused on, what you should learning, is also actually gameplay experience. You know, the the way you set up uh, a map, the way you set up combat encounters. You know, use certain monsters that are on lower levels that swarm the player. Use monsters that are on higher levels that snipe the players. You know, like revenants or chain gunners or or even just just imps. And work on making a fun map rather than a map that shows off what you can do as a mapper so i hope that's uh, that's useful to you and uh well let's check out the next level party crusher by fiendish this looks interesting okay we start off with a cutscene of a disco dance floor with a very uh, nice arch file dj Giving all these imps and revenants and whatnot a hell of a time. Of course, I say that there are no revenants here. This looks cool. And some pain elements up there, and a cyber demon, some kekos in the back. Okay. Um. Right. I guess that's uh, the party we are going to crash. Lovely little uh, cutscene by Fiendish. Much appreciated. I don't know who decided to do this in GZ Doom, but it uh, allows some of these mappers to show off their scripting skills. We also have some strobing lights out here. A very nice courtyard with a big ominous door 
It's not alike. It's not alike is this game that I'm doing by the day. Although I am also a bit anxious about having to fight uh, all those imps that Archfile DJ and that Cyber Demon. Lost the pain of that. We found a secret chain gun with some ammo. Is it, are you a Baron or a Hell Knight? I can't tell in this light. It's not a swim in lava, shall we? No, I'm also not sure if I want to kill him or not. Okay, well, if you're gonna give me a rocket launcher, I'm gonna kill him. And down he goes. Oh, that's a lot of stuff you're giving me in the in this courtyard area. Some medkits here too. But there's also over 300 of those. Yeah, this is a big one. Oh god. That's a damn shame. Sorry about that. This is Vampire Castle by Gil Boron. Which is supposed to be an easy and a small one. There's a little boat here we came in on, presumably. But uh, this uh, room looks very grey. I also don't see an entrance where the boat came in on, but maybe it came in through Goo Goo. There's some blood here, which shows you uh, well, vampires like blood, don't they? Oh yeah, there's a lot of corpses here. Some uh, excessive amount of blood here. I do like uh, this texture here, though. Lyman could be a little better here, but uh, it works well with the blood and these bricks. It's a good combination. Uh, there's a blue key. It's not a, a common uh, uh, wall texture used for uh, blue doors, but uh, you can use it. It's fine. Let's uh, progress. Let's see if we can kill some of these imps using the turns. The barrel exploded, but that's fine. And there's a shotgun. With 57 enemies, this is not going to be the longest of maps. There's a cool outside area here. These are uh, some good use of support textures to uh, line the doors. Some enemies are downstairs, some are up. It's a good monster placement there. Especially Pinky down there. However, <laughs> a very big criticism here. I thought I was in a vampire castle. Didn't you? Like this? This is a vampire castle. This is, I guess, a library in a vampire castle. This is a computer room in a vampire castle. What sort of vampire castle has a computer room? We found a secret. 45 ammo and 200 health. If I don't beat this map now, I can uh, retire. Yeah, this is too tech basic for a vampire castle. And luckily we are now back in the vampire castle. I don't know if there's a story here that the vampires are, uh, are hackers or something. It's, uh, it's not the greatest lip texture there in the back. I thought it was going to be trapped. It's 
is a an armor. This is a fine use of Hux textures. I, I guess the blood hurts. I like this uh, blood coming out. This guy has a lot of blood to spare, doesn't he? It's just pouring out. Yeah. Uh, this little construct on the wall looks good. The face surrounding it, uh, they're aligned well and they give it a bit of a, a unique look, so uh, that's fine. I thought this was gonna open, maybe. Uh, what? Uh, maybe there's a button here? Uh. Uh. Huh. Are we supposed to be going back here? Oh yeah, of course, we have the blue key now, so let's go to the blue door. More chain gun, eh? Now, I, I like that these chain gunners and these kekos come in. I don't like that they come in a little bit too early. I feel like I'm fighting them from the door rather than from the door. That's a mine drive. Hey, do you, do you, are you seeing some custom textures? These, uh, this kind of height doesn't work well with the flat textures that do not offer. But I do like this. Wait. No, this is not a texture. These are just custom Doom textures. That's awesome. That's great. You can see the exit. Still haven't seen any vampires. By the way, this library room. Um, it works. It suits the theme, unlike the computer room. What's up here? Let's pull this up here. Could I miss the rocket launcher? Are we just shotgunning everything, or do we need to hit this button? Bit finicky. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, jump is disabled again. Let's deal with this cackle first before they uh, ruin my platforming. Can't seem to jump that. I know I did it the first time. Oh, that also works. Let's hit this button. Okay. I guess we can do a bit of backtracking. Is this a secret? Okay. Why does that hurt? Why does that hurt indeed? That's what's supposed to happen. Um, I think this opens. Yeah, this opens. Oh, it is a secret. Secret rocket launcher and mega armor. Oh, with only two enemies left. It's a bit late, isn't it? Then again, I suppose I could have grabbed it before I opened the door to that uh, next room with the barons or the. I keep saying parents and Hell Knights wrong. With the Hell Knights and the Kekko demons pouring out. Let's go finish them off. Okay, one more enemy and there's an invulnerability here. Which I can't grab from down here. I can... Okay. It's not a cyber demon, is it? Nope, oh, that's Vampire Castle by Gilboron. We finished another one. 
I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, decent little map, but the like I said, the computer room is too tacky for me. It doesn't really suit uh, the atmosphere. Well, the room with the chain gun and uh, like the the first room you come into the castle uh, with the stairs. Those two rooms were cool. Uh, library was pretty good too. So if you could make a little, make uh, some more rooms using that theme, you know, bricks and blood, that screams to me vampire castle. The tech room definitely does not. Otherwise. Pretty solid map. Thanks very much for watching. I was Pistolkip and I'll see you next one. Bye bye.